Good morning and welcome to another fantastical week of the Boho Bradshaws. In our last episode you saw us hiking the grand granite mountains of the Yosemite National Park and this week we've come down to the ocean and we're exploring the giant redwoods. the opportunity to explore this beautiful canyon today. It's, this hike is known as the Fern Canyon hike and if it looks familiar it's because you've seen it in Jurassic Park and possibly in Star Wars. In fact parts of the uh, Endor Ewok forest was filmed in these forests here. The game has become how can I get all the way up this hike which is only about a mile and a half without getting my feet wet. They've got these teeny tiny little crossing paths that you can deal with. It's so amazing. If you are ever near the Redwoods, do this hike. Fern Valley? Fern Canyon. Fern Canyon. So amazing. There's ferns on both sides of us. Just walls of ferns. I really liked it. It was really pretty, like especially the canyon, like the walls with all the ferns growing off of it. Because it's very green and it's pretty. I liked how you were, you would just kind of go wherever you want. There was like different paths. I would recommend you bring wet shoes, waterproof shoes. It's beautiful. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Um, this is where, where I feel at peace. So a pro tip here, this isn't just an out and back trail. You can actually get to the end of the Fern Canyon, which is kind of ambiguous just due to the fact that there's no really trail, you're just kind of following the creek. But when you get to where you think the end of the trail is, take the stairs up, you kind of come around to a little T and then you can take a forest trail back down to the parking area. So it's a good break from the water, still beautiful green scenery, a little bit of a change of pace. And uh, overall, it just makes it a nice, beautiful loop. Alrighty, truth be told, you can't really get to the original Star Wars sets for indoor and that kind of stuff because it was on some private logging ground, which unfortunately is now cut down. But doesn't this just remind you of the home of the Ewoks? I mean, seriously. Mama, I've got a feeling that I'm onto something. Wings growing on my back and the bliss that I feel. When I think back and I check myself. the Redwood National Park. It's the Redwood National and State Parks. There's actually five or six state parks along with the actual Redwood National Park. So we've been to what's called the Beach Bluff State Park. We're staying or camping in the Del Norte Coast State Park. We're now in hiking inside of the Jedediah Smith State Park. It's nice to have the two different experiences, the giant sequoias and then these, these giant redwoods very much closed in here. Yeah, in fact, we've got this nice solar system that I've talked about in the past, and it's been pretty much rendered useless these last couple of weeks just because where we've been parked, it's just shady 100% of the time. It's 100% shade, 100% of the day. And if we don't get up and open the blinds up, then, uh, you never really know it was day sometimes. I like hikes like this. Um, just kind of a walk through the forest. It's nice. Did you take any 
We love, love it here in the Redwoods. I mean, the gorgeous trees, green and the ferns, and uh, just the ocean being so close. We highly recommend it. If you've never had a chance to make it to the Redwoods, come on out and explore it for yourself. So what do you know about the Redwood National Park? I know that it has the tallest tree in the, in the world. What do you think it could tell you? What kind of stories? It would say stuff like, I remember in the old days, they've seen comrades be chopped down like, no! <laughs> the wisdom of 200, 25 year, hundred years ago. These are some pretty big trees. I'm sure this is the case with all of the parks here in the uh, state park system, but you know, they've got all of the old, old growth redwood trees. Most of them are cut down, unfortunately. I don't know if that's for safety here in the parks because they don't want these huge trees falling on someone, but you know, all of these sites are just chock full of these huge stumps that you can run and play and jump on. We've also really appreciated how much like space you actually have for your campsite. So, you know, you can really kind of stretch out and enjoy this space without being right on top of your neighbor. You're not all bunched together with other random strangers. They give you some space from all the other campsites and all the other campers. So it's, I think it's better that way. But here's one better flushable toilets. There's nothing more lovely than one of those pit toilets, you know, but flushable with toilet paper, ah, luxury. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you coming along for the ride. We'd love for you to like and subscribe as always. And you know, I guess we'll just catch you on the road. Stay wild. Stay wild. <laughs>